Hello there and welcome back to uvs.net. Uh, I'm hoping you are all uh, fine. Um, today I am going to take a look at uh, this one here. So this is actually a five and a quarter inch uh, floppy drive that I got with the uh, Commodore 64 I purchased recently and uh, it has no branding so I don't know what the brand is but uh, I did a little googling and uh, this looks uh, like a Oceanic or Technica drive uh, because they look uh, the same and uh, I don't know if it's working or not uh, so in this video I'm gonna take a look at this see if it works and uh, see what it can do so this is a clone of a 1541 uh, floppy drive for the commodore and uh, as you can see the form factor is very nice very slim and uh, not uh, bulky like uh, the first commodore 1541s it came with a power supply and i was unsure what uh, brand this was but uh, actually this one says oceanic electronics so it's an oceanic uh, drive it's made in Taiwan first of all I'm gonna hook it up to one of my trusty old Commodore 64s and uh, test if it actually is uh, working and um, yeah it came with a serial cable and it has uh, like the original 1541 power input and uh, two serial connectors let me turn it on see what happens okay it turns on and a green LED and it stopped spinning that's a good sign I'm gonna test it with a, a gauntlet original game let's uh, load the directory first uh, it is not present on uh, device 8 so uh, let's try uh, device 9 nope there is some form of communication between the machine because when I turn off and power cycle the machine the disk spins up so uh, However, it is not uh, responding to um, commands. I don't know what happened the first time. I did uh, try another floppy drive just to see if it was actually working with the machine and I uh, had problem loading the gauntlet. But uh, anyway, no, it actually works. So uh <laughs> yeah. if I can type so I tried another floppy disk and uh, this one is actually working maybe there were some uh, bad contact or anything in the serial cable I don't know so no it seems to work just fine so I'm trying to load a game here called leaderboard One thing's for sure, this uh, floppy is uh, not any faster than the original. All right, finish loading. Leaderboard Golf. And I'm a novice, I think. I did actually have a green card and did play golf uh, some years back, but uh, not anymore. Course one. All right, that's a little uh, 3D rendering of a golf course. How do you swing it? So the drive is actually working. I'm happy with that. And uh, now I'm gonna disassemble it and uh, do some cleaning and stuff like that and uh, later i'm gonna check out more about the capabilities of this uh, drive 
let's open it up and see what's inside uh, it is missing two of its uh, rubber feet so i have to replace those but first opening it's just uh, four screws This looks very clean and uh, dust free and uh, that's a good sign. Since this is a clone uh, you won't find any Commodore chips inside this one and they actually did steal the ROM codes for, for the original 1541 uh, and some of the drives that were clones they even tried to to garble the content of the, of the ROM chips uh, just by uh, switching some of the data lines then I'm gonna remove the front seems to be two screws holding it to the frame a little shorter than the other so I don't want to mix them up The door knob, I'm not sure if it's just a kind of a mechanism you just pull off. Let's see if it uh, can come loose without me breaking anything. Uh, it seems pretty stuck. So you can uh, just slide the whole, uh, the whole drive out of the case just to remove the little connector for the power switch very nice and tight design and uh, now I am uh, able to clean this it's very clean inside actually but uh, I'm still gonna clean around the, the drive mechanism and the, the the drive heads I'm gonna clean I say heads but it's probably just one head so single-sided I'm just gonna blow away some dust with uh, this air duster and uh, there's actually very little dust inside this then I spray with some isopropanol and just uh, clean every dirt I can uh, see There's always something. I try to take extra care in uh, cleaning these uh, drive rails, these metal rods that uh, the read right head is uh, running along. Finally, I'm gonna clean the actual read and write head and um, just gently rub with a little uh, isopropanol and then uh, rub with the dry side afterwards I was planning uh, to remove the front uh, cover but um, it's screwed onto this metal bar this lever here and uh, I don't want to risk uh, damaging anything and it's uh, no point I can clean it like this it's not that dirty after all now I'm done with the cleaning and I'm gonna lubricate some of the moving parts and um, among others uh, these uh, drive rails here these metal rods uh, a little bit of um, silicon uh, grease uh, onto those just a tiny amount and it will uh, distribute itself when the head is moving I also lub lubricate a couple of other moving uh, parts I like this uh, lever here and uh, also the the guide for this uh, plastic part over the drive head that's it for the maintenance part let's uh, assemble this drive again
it's a lot easier than the original 1541 drives <laughs> Before I close this up, I want to show you that this uh, drive actually has the Jiffy DOS kernel ROM installed and I zoom into this one. It says uh, Jiffy DOS V5 copyright 1988. I have to do something about the missing feet, so I'm removing the leftover rubber here. I removed the glue with some uh, IPA. Unfortunately, I can only find uh, a round ones and uh, white, but uh, they actually fit in uh, in that square. So um, I think this will do for now, at least. Better than nothing. That's it. Good as new, or <laughs> almost, <laughs> I would say. Let me test if it still is working. Let's try and load this Football Liga. It's a Norwegian name for some football game. So I guess the previous owner of this drive and the floppy disk was called Ken. <laughs> anyway, sorry for filming the screen. I know it's not the very best picture quality on video when you film from a television or screen. I did buy a video capture device however I didn't get it to work with uh, at least with uh, this machine all right <laughs> okay so this is a football league or football manager game um, in the Norwegian I think I heard about it since this uh, supposedly is an uh, exact clone of uh, the original 1541 uh, it's uh, probably not any faster in loading so uh, anyway I'll try and measure loading times now so I try with this uh, leaderboard 3 and uh, start the watch now All right, uh, that was actually one minute and 42 seconds. So I hooked up uh, one of my original Commodore 1541. This is the, the white edition and I'm gonna test uh, how long it takes to load the same file. So let's start loading. As I'm waiting, I'm just uh, looking at the size difference uh, between the old one and the new uh, or the cloned one all right there it stopped and it was in fact uh 208 that's around uh, 20 percent uh, faster loading time for uh, 193 blocks uh, if that is uh, due to the jiffy dos uh, kernel rom uh, or not i don't know i was under the impression that you needed the jiffy dos uh, rom also in your machine which i don't have this particular uh, Commodore 64C, uh, which is uh, number 250469 revision 3, uh, has a combined uh, kernel and basic ROM chip, uh, this uh, 28 pins uh, one here. 
And that's exactly what's uh, on this EEPROM. It's uh, Jiffy DOS combined with uh, BASIC and kernel ROM for the C64. So I'm going to replace this one uh, with uh, the EEPROM. Uh, uh, however, as you can see, it's not socketed, so I have to start up my desoldering station. Let's do some desoldering. This should be fairly quick if you have a desoldering station like this. This has been very good. Uh, no problems with it as long as you clean out the mess. That was the desoldering, however, the chip is still stuck. Uh, some of the pins are still uh, soldered onto the sides of the holes. And um, I always have to go through with um, uh, a screwdriver or uh, just wiggle every uh, pin so uh, you're sure that they are loose from the hole. Then gently try to um, lever the chip up. The biggest risk is actually that you're uh, lifting uh, off some of the pads. So now this is quite loose, uh, at least on one side. All right, there we have it. And uh, no lifted pads, excellent. A little bit of solder wick to remove the any leftover solder. Not much here on this side at least. Even more important the back side where you are gonna resolder. Finally a little uh, Q tip with the uh, isopropanol to clean the pads. Of course I'm going to solder in a socket and not uh, the chip directly and uh, make sure you have the notch on uh, the socket uh, pointing the same direction as the notch on the, the silk screen. A little bit of flux. Alright, let's do the soldering. I start with the corners. Let's do a little fast forward. All right, that looks good. A little bit of uh, isopropanol to clean things up. Okay, that was the socket. Uh, before I uh, test the uh, Jiffy DOS, I'm gonna just uh, test with the original ROM chip just to make sure I didn't uh, break anything. Okay, uh, seems to work just fine, so a uh, good uh, soldering job there. All right, here comes the scary part. Does this uh, Jiffy DOS ROM work? Or do it work? All right, it's in. Turning on. Nope, nothing. All right, I took the chip out and uh, inserted it again. And uh, what do you know? 
Jiffy DOS V6.01 copyright 1989 I'm assembling the machine um, I'm gonna keep the Jiffy DOS uh, in it for now I know you can um, you can uh, uh, make a switch um, to switch between the Jiffy DOS and the original uh, kernel ROM um, uh, however I'm not gonna do that now so this is not going to be uh, some sort of uh, overview of the Jiffy DOS. Uh, however, I'm going to test it now and uh, what I'm most interested in, in is in the, the loading speed uh, of the different uh, drives. So, um, and the Jiffy DOS uses this um, um, at commands. If you just type a uh, single uh, at, you get uh, I think this is the error channel, however there's no error now, so it just uh, uh, produces uh, some kind of identification for uh, the drive. And this is the original 1541 says DOS V2.6. And if I want uh, to see the directory, you can type uh, at dollar. To load the machine code program, you just type uh, percent and then the name of the file. So uh, last time we used the leaderboard three. So let's try to load that one. And remember, this is the original 1541 Commodore and uh, I'm taking the time now see if uh, Jiffy DOS uh, speeds up the loading from an uh, original an uh, unmodified uh, floppy drive. All right that loaded in uh, two minutes and eight seconds so that was the same time as before so no change there. Now let's try the oceanic drive and see if it's any faster in loading so um, Seems to be loading uh, the directory quite faster at least. And now the leaderboard. Starting the timer now. By the sono it, it uh, loads really fast. <laughs> All right, that was in fact, uh, oh, it's uh, not focused here. Let me try and focus. It was 19 seconds. Okay, let's see what the at command uh, says about the oceanic drive. It says 73 Jiffy DOS 5.0, 1541. So it, I, actually it's backward compatible because uh, the computer have uh, Jiffy DOS version 6 and the drive has version 5 and they seem to work just fine. I found another disk uh, called uh, games something. It says games spill 3 or 4. <laughs> so uh, let me see what's on that one. Old stuff. Okay, few games, ping pong, buggy boy, let's uh, try uh, uh, buggy boy. Of course it was percent for loading uh, machine code, so uh, let's try, uh, yeah, let's try ping pong. And again, it's loading uh, very quickly, so um, yeah. <laughs> Helmets Compact. Cracked by Helmates. All right, there you go. Konami's ping pong.
please switch your floppy off pirate okay let's do that okay <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's uh, ping pong. <laughs> All right. I want to try the Turbo Ultron. So this is a legendary game. All right. <laughs> it has a turbo, but I suck at driving. Game over. All right, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoy the content. Um, yeah, it's a good drive. Seems to be working just fine. So this seems to be my preferred uh, floppy drive from now on, if I want to use real floppies, uh, which I like to do. Um, okay, um, as a note, uh, for those of you who are waiting for my next episode of the Commodore 64, motherboard build i just ordered the last few parts i need and they are arriving a uh, couple of days from now so i will start uh, finishing up that project at least uh, next episode we'll see if there's gonna be any more episodes or not anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please subscribe if you want to see more thanks bye bye